In today's video, I will be going to show you how you can create a Discord chatbot without coding and host it 24-7 hours for free, and yeah, I will put timestamps in the description so that it's easy for you to skip any part if you want, and also, if you face any issue then don't forget to join my Discord server and ask for help there. Alright let's start. Creating a bot. To create an application, you will need to go to Discord developer portals from where you can create a bot. Once you are here, click on Applications. Now click on New Application and enter your bot name which you want, and then press the Create button. Now, go to the Bot section, click on Add a Bot, and click on Yes Do It. Scroll down and enable these three options, if you don't enable them then the bot will not reply to your message, so this is must. After enabling it click on Save Changes, now to invite the bot, go to OAuth2 section, then go to URL Generator, in Scopes, select Bot and give permissions to the bot if you want, after that click on the Copy button and invite the bot to your server where you want. Forking RepL After creating the bot, come to this RepL page from the description, then click on the Fork option, enter your RepL name and description, then click on Fork RepL and wait for some time until the files are fully downloaded. Hosting the bot. To host the bot, click on the lock icon in the key section, type token, make sure the letters of the token are exactly same as mine. In the value section, you will need to enter your bot token. So, at the developer page, select your bot. I will always recommend you to use a new bot. After that go to the bot section, click on reset token then yes do it, and copy the token. Now come back to your repl page and paste the token in the value section and then click on add a new secret to save the value. After that, click on the run button and wait for some time. If you get this message it means that your bot is fully online. Now go to your discord and check your bot if it's online or not. You can see the bot is online, by the way, I forgot to show you, make sure to give the bot send messages permissions in the server so that it work properly. Now to check the bot, write its prefix, by the way, you can also change its prefix from the code which I will show you later at, now write ping and send the message, so you can see the bot working, now you will need to set a channel for the bot so that it will only respond to messages in a specific channel. Write the prefix, then, type chatbot, and select your channel which you want. So you can see we have enabled the chatbot for this channel, now go to that channel and check if the bot is working or not. You can see, the bot is working properly. This is how you can make a chatbot without coding. Changing prefix and other things. To change the prefix, come to index.js and go to line number 4, and from here you can change the bot prefix. If you want to remove the mobile status from the bot, then come to line number 6 and change the mobile platform from true to false. To change the status of the bot, come to line number 10 and 13, from here you can change your bot status. And you can also edit other messages if you want, but I will recommend you to not change anything if you are not a coder because you can face problems. Hosting the bot 24-7 hours. To host the bot 24-7 hours, simply run the bot. After your bot is online, copy this rep L code and come to Uptime Robot. Click on Start Monitoring in 30 seconds. Create an account if you don't have, as I already have an account so I will simply log in. After logging in, you will see something like this. Now click on Add New Monitor. In Monitor Type, select HTTPS. Then enter your monitor name which you want. Now paste the link which you copied and leave the other things normal, scroll down and click on create monitor, you can upgrade your account if you want a faster, and if you don't then click on continue free with slower monitor, and again click on create monitor, now wait for some time until it loads your monitor, approximately it takes about 5 to 6 minutes, so reload your tab after some time, after reloading you can see our monitor is online, which means your bot will online 24 7 hours, you will also see other data from the quick stats. So this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and peace out.